I discovered the best investments you can make in 2024. Ray Dalio, the famous investor, once said, the person who lives by the crystal ball will eat shattered glass. It means that the people who lose their money are the ones that are looking inside the crystal ball, always trying to predict the future, making investments on trend speculations or emotions. That's why I wanna share with you the best investments you can make today to actually get ROI so you don't eat shattered glass. The first vehicle is index funds. At 26 years old, one of my mentors told me to take half of what I'd made at the time and I've earned and put it into a stability bucket, essentially an investment where I wouldn't lose my money. So what I did is I dollar cost averaged myself into the index funds. Why? Because it didn't take any thinking. You know, a long time ago, I was reading books on investing and I came across like John Bogle's book on index funds and many others. And the whole idea is that if you can get a low cost fee structure, then you dollar cost average yourself into it. It doesn't sound very sexy or a lot of fun. I'll get to those in a second, but it's definitely the way for you not to lose your money by being emotional all the time, right? I see a lot of people invest in stuff where it's too liquid. It's too easy to come in and out of, but if you're trying to play for the long game and say, this is the money I never wanna lose, I'm building my wealth fund, it's gonna compound, then I can't think of a better investment than index funds. Even Warren Buffett said it. He said, you know, if I pass away today and my family had to take over the money, let's get out of active management. Let's just take all that money, put it into an index fund, and then my family can live off of the dividends every year. This investment is for people that are unwilling to learn, where they don't wanna think they've got their main business, they got their main job, and they just wanna invest in things. They don't wanna be emotional about it. There's nothing better than low cost fee index funds. You don't wanna do mutual funds. I mean, if you look at the long game over a 25 year period, you might lose 40 to 50% of the value of your investment as a bucket just because you're paying other people's fees and that compounds over time. Index funds have some of the lowest fees because you're not paying for active management. Whereas in a mutual fund, you're paying somebody to manage it and they got all these little hidden fees. They say, oh no, we're low fees. No, you're not. If you look at the actually fine print, they can raise their fees lower. Like over the time that you deploy money into their fund, and if you move it around, it's not the right way to do it. You know, I like Vanguard index funds. You can choose whichever ones, but you wanna find stuff, have a decent portfolio and just set it and forget it. The second vehicle is real estate. I bought my first deal when I was 21. It was a duplex. I think I paid something like $121,000 for it. I had my 5% down and I got into real estate game. Since then, I've done a ton of deals. And the reason I like it, is because it allows you to build wealth in a bunch of different ways. You know, recently I had one of my top sales guys, this kid named Wendell, come in and he wanted to invest in real estate. So I gave him some advice and he turned all of his extra cash into investments in multi-units with his partner and ended up building a really sizable portfolio. My brother did the same thing. Him and I started Martell Homes to help him get into real estate to move away from being a mechanic and he ended up building one of the largest home building companies in Eastern Canada. Because real estate's one of those investments that has some very unique properties to it, pun intended. Real estate is an investment where you can drive around and touch it. It's not a fun, and you own real estate that has purpose, not your primary home. That is not an investment in real estate. See, real estate has this thing that a lot of people do called the Burr method, right? Which is buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat method. It has tax advantages for a lot of places. It's an asset that produces cash cash flow so it pays off the investment it hedges against inflation and it appreciates as it pays itself down how cool is that those alone the inflation part right now where we have some of the highest inflations we've ever experienced is a beautiful reason to consider real estate as an investment vehicle the third vehicle is collectibles this is probably one of my favorite ones because if you do it right the things that you enjoy to purchase can become the vehicle for investment for example my buddy mike brown he teaches the framework at his Unbreakable Wealth seminars, where you can look at cars and watches and art and wine and all these different collectibles, you know, whatever your thing is, you can be into comic books and you could either put your money into index funds or RSPs or whatever, or you could actually put them into the collectible that you are passionate about, that you love, that you, you know, think about this, 
What if you can invest in the thing that you spend hours on YouTube studying? So like, I love cars, okay? I think supercars are beautiful, beautiful works of art and I'm putting together a collection. I mean, I'm inspired by a guy like Steve Hamilton who has a Hamilton car collection or, you know, Manny Koshpin or even one of my mentors, Andy Frisella. I mean, here's these people that have these multi deca million dollar car collections, but if you look under the hood, they're actually investments. They're not buying cars that are gonna go down and depreciate. They know that purchasing these rare editions of these collectibles is actually not only gonna hold the money, but it's gonna go up over time. Now, it does require you to put the time and energy to study it, but you don't make money when you sell, you make money when you buy, you have to be patient, you have to look for unique opportunities. So you have to have access to inventory in deals to make this work, but it could be one of the funnest things you could do with your money. What you don't do is go buy a brand new car or a brand new watch off the lot. You need to do the work. You need to find somebody, ideally a mentor, that's already made money doing this and ask them how they've done it. What are the auctions they go to? What are the unlisted websites? Who are the brokers? Who are the other people that have private collections that might be looking to liquidate some of those assets? You want to get somebody who's already doing it that doesn't have more time or the ability to invest more and you could be the person to get some of their release valve of collectibles that you could buy and start building up your collection. So the money could either be in the bank and an investment, or it could be in a beautiful object that you get to look at and enjoy on a daily basis. It's up to you. The fourth vehicle is intellectual property. It's taking everything in your mind and putting it into a format that people can purchase, right? Like a book, a media company, licensing models, coaching other people, consulting, those frameworks become incredibly valuable if you learn how to put them together in a way that other people can purchase. There are now a ton of YouTubers from Justin Welsh, Ali Abdal, Dan Co. all these people that are making millions of dollars online by learning, getting really great at something, creating a course, intellectual property, and then using the media side to get distribution so that they can sell people that wanna learn that on their product. It is a huge opportunity to get leverage and the coolest part about the whole process is that the better you get at it, the better you get in life. Most people don't package their intellectual property in a way that other people can buy or consume. I know a lot of people that know a lot about stuff. I got a buddy, he knows more about more than anybody else I know, but he's never put it down in a way that somebody could purchase to learn from. So he's just the most interesting man in the room, but never makes any money from that because he hasn't translated that into intellectual property. The fifth vehicle is in yourself. The reality of it is the best investment you could ever make is in your skill sets and becoming more valuable to the market. You know, I bought my first book when I was 23 and that was kind of late. Then I went to my first seminar and I invested $38,000 in an expert over a three year period to teach me everything he had learned about building businesses. At this point in my life, I've invested probably 1.5 million plus in myself, in my coaching, in my skill sets, in my ability to shoot videos just like this. I've paid consultants $30,000 for one hour of their time because they've spent their whole life learning something that they could teach me and that investment in myself and knowledge I can translate into different businesses that I own so that I can grow faster. So the best way to invest in yourself is first off, invest in your energy. Get around other people that are gonna keep you positive, not worrying about things and focusing on the possibility of the future. Then try to figure out where you wanna get better at in your life and go buy some books. Study the top three to five books in any category of information you wanna learn. Like if you wanna become great at sales, go get the top three or five books in sales. If you wanna be good at marketing, top three to five books in marketing. Then try to invest in, if you got a little bit more money, go to the events, go get around people that are also passionate about that thing. See, most people get it wrong when they just like learn stuff just for someday maybe. I call it just in case learning versus just in time. See, you wanna study the thing that's gonna have the biggest impact on your life today. People that go learn and then just put it to the side, I call that shelf help right? They're, they're trying to learn the latest craze, but they don't even have a vehicle to translate the know-how into anything that's going to make the money, right? Focus on what's true, not new, the fundamentals, the foundation, not the whiz bang wizardry of the current world, but like these core principles about being a better person, working on your health and really understanding business fundamentals. Investing yourself allows you to bring you with you and every opportunity for the rest of your life. Those are the best investments you can make today. But if you want to learn the best businesses you can start in 2024, click the link and I'll see you on the other side.